Hi my friends, today we model this part. It is not so complicated. The name is uh, Angular Support and the drawing is here. We start by creating this base with dimension thickness of 3.1 35 from this center point this will be the center point of the part and radius 6.2 radius 6.2 distance width of 7.5 Standard millimeters IPT, new sketch, this plane, and we draw that contour. 35 is this distance. I have to enlarge. Then I keep press the left button. And I go somewhere here. Again, keep the left button and go to the left. We close the contour. Dimensions, distance here is 35. Radius 6.2 Radius 6.2 And width of uh, 7.5 Finish sketch Extrude The other direction 3.1 Next is uh, this cylinder with uh, the two ends placed at uh, 1.2 millimeters and 10 millimeters. This is why we create a new plane at a distance of 1.2 for a new sketch. The diameter is 10. Diameter 10. And the uh, length is uh, also 10. The other direction 10. We hide the new plane. And we continue with this uh, arc at, the, at this face. Dimensions are 3.8 is the thickness and this all dimensions. We start with the slot then we place external XY is the plane and we use uh, slot 3 point arc we start from here this is radius 20 then we apply radius 2.5 is this a diameter no yes it is a diameter 2.5 multiplied by 
to F7 we place on the same vertical this point with this point we may coincident the center with this point then we draw a line between these two centers construction line to apply the angle I project the vertical Y Y axis as a construction as well and the angle is 75 degrees almost exactly then we place here an arc with the radius to come line now be careful I keep press the left button and I go somewhere here then I also keep press the left button and I go here there are two centers they must be coincident and coincident with uh, uh, this but let me apply radius 5 here coincident the combined center with this center once again this point is coincident with this point F7 to apply projection F7 because we have to extend this arc to this line we draw that line and we have a fully constrained sketch finish sketch extrude the other direction 3.8 okay we continue with this cylinder diameter of 10 height of uh, 1.2 this is the face circle diameter of 10 again <laughs> and extrude of 1.2 there are two holes this is a counter bore and this is a counter sink we start with the counter sink diameter of 3 diameter of 6 and 90 degrees hole this face this center counter sink diameter of 3 diameter of 6 and 90 degrees is by default ok the other hole is a counter bore 7.4 2.5 and 4.23 face center counter bore this diameter is 4.23 this is 7.4 and this is 2.5 
now I see that uh, this angle was not uh, placed ok we can go to that uh, feature to the sketch and you see here is 70 but it must be 75 now I think we finished the part let's see what is the volume I properties physical update copy close drawing double click and the new value is the same with the original cancel we keep this because it is the same with our production we apply the material steel carbon we select default lights and we can compare with the original you don't see any difference that's all for today thanks for watching bye, -bye.